If you're a Steelers fan who's heard about, you know, Matt Canada, the offensive coordinator for the Steelers, and the burner account that's been going around that people think it's him being some being some fake profile on Twitter defending himself, I think people are playing games with y'all. Let me explain. NFL. He made a burner Twitter account using his work email. Matthew Canada at Steelers. So that's not Matt Canada's work email. I'm Chris Carter. I cover the Steelers for the Locked on Steelers podcast. I work for the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. I have to email people regularly that work for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And that's not how their emails are structured. One, they start with your last name first. And they don't include your full first name. And the end does not go at Steelers.com. So whoever put that together, they're making that up. Maybe that's Matt Canada with a burner. But... That's not Matt Canada using a Steelers email address. Plus, here's the confirmation code as well for his email. Also, that's not how Twitter does password uh, reset requests anymore. Nowadays, if you do that on Twitter or X, you get what you see right here, and they ask you to confirm your email by giving it to them. So whoever created that image, I don't think it was the creator because I've seen that all over you know, the internet so far. I think he was just reporting what he, or he was just giving his opinion on what he saw, but that is fake. Uh, because if you even try to request uh, to reset a password, you don't get that email address. Not only did someone make that up, someone also like did a whole Photoshop situation to make that look like that was, that's actually an email that doesn't even exist. So again, I'm not buying that. Dealer fan Twitter account. Stephen A is screaming about Matt Canada right now. Todd Haley, Randy Fitchner, and now Matt Canada. Who's the common denominator here? It's Mike Tomlin and Chris Boswell. I don't even know why you throw in Chris Boswell. He's the kicker. So that comment right there was what really tipped me. This was really just a fan using this account trying to be slick. I'll tell you why. One, they go through all those offensive coordinators. They name Randy Fitchner, which is it was spelled incorrectly in the tweet. And then two, it throws in Mike Tomlin as if this fake burner who's pretending to be Matt Canada or whatever is disparaging Mike Tomlin. Mike Tomlin's never openly come after Matt Canada, and I don't think that Matt Canada would ever do that to him. But to throw in Chris Boswell, that, that right there, that's what kind of gave it away. This was a fan. And I'll show you why. It's from a kind of internet famous clip around Steelers media that a lot of people think that Chris Boswell hates Matt Canada. I'll show you the clip. So that video was from the Steelers win over the Buccaneers early in the 2022 season. And what obviously that that video looks like and what it trended on Twitter for was because it looked like Chris Boswell was saying that win wasn't because of you, you being him talking to Matt Canada. But I was, that video that you saw that I showed here, that was my version of the video. I was standing right there. I took that video. When I took that video, as did the other reporters whose videos went viral for that, none of us thought it was that's what actually happened there. We all talked about it. We were like, it didn't look like he was saying that to him. Matt Canada had already gone in the locker room by the time Chris Boswell got up to enter there. And so if he was looking that at him and saying that to him, it didn't come across that way to us. So that was always something that we thought kind of got blown up. And when I say we, I mean, people in the Steelers media, we talked about that situation. Those of us who were standing there, we thought we thought that was kind of blown up and not as big of a situation as some other people were making it out to be. So, again, this is why I think that's a fan playing games right now. A, there's no... Matt Canada at Steelers.com. That's a fake email address. B, Twitter doesn't do password requests that way anymore. So that was clearly a forgery there. C, the Chris Boswell situation to me tells me that that was definitely a Steelers fan who knows about situations like that and is paying a lot of attention to Twitter that was like, oh, this will make it definitely look like it was Matt Canada. I don't buy into it. Just me. It maybe it is Matt Canada with a with a crazy burner account with a Gmail account. Who knows? But I, I think this whole situation is a big bunch of nothing. And nothing against the creator, the TikTok guy who was talking here. I stitched. I was just using his his t take as his example. But a lot of people are getting fooled by this right now. And as a reporter, as a journalist, as a person who works in Pittsburgh media, 
I just I'm tired of seeing it because it's a load of nothing. 